The Joint Systems Manufacturing Center began as an Army Tank Modification Center in November 1942. The Lima, Ohio plant relied on its strong Midwestern work ethic to meet the World War II demand and the unexpected production surges that typified that war. This outstanding effort led to the plant receiving the Army-Navy E Award, received by only the top 4% of all WW2 manufacturing operations. This record of supporting our warfighter with quality products continued with the rollout of the Abrams main battle tank in 1980. The JSMC again turned to its local skilled and Midwestern neighbors to meet the production demands of the Cold War and beyond. When the second Iraq war began, the strains on our military began to show. The JSMC was called upon to double and then triple production rates. As true patriots, the JSMC team met all the delivery schedules on time, below cost, while continually improving vehicle quality. During its rich history, the Army, Marine Corps, and General Dynamics have all invested millions of dollars in the plant's infrastructure. These enhancements have benefited the military by improving quality, increasing production rates, and most importantly, reduced cost, thus making wise use of taxpayer dollars. We represent uh, the United States. I mean, we, the quality that goes into these vehicles is, is unsurpassed. It's, uh, we know that lives depend on this. And as veterans, uh, we do hear stories from the troops when they come back into the local community here about training on our, our tanks or actually fighting uh, in our tanks. And uh, they just uh, can't uh, thank us enough for the quality and the passion we put into building these vehicles. I was one of the first people that had been hired in for about a period of 15 years. Uh, when I came in, I was uh, blessed to be surrounded by folks with a, a lot of experience at the plant. Everybody. Uh, gave me quite a bit of assistance. I was able to latch onto them and uh, learn all the systems, all the processes, uh, get to know the vehicles very well. Uh, I was uh, lucky to be able to tag along with those experienced people and, and learn quite a bit. I mean, you're not gonna go to college and uh, take a course on Abrams 101. Uh, it's, there's a, a lot of information out there, but you need a lot of on-vehicle experience to uh, really effectively manufacture and maintain these vehicles. The response from the community and the surrounding communities was tremendous. And in that time period, we not only brought the people in to produce the track, but trained them using the core of experienced people, using the core of our technology to be able to respond quickly in the time of need of the government. There is, there is no room for error in building these vehicles. We build the best here and we're operating the best uh, overseas, so we know that we'll be protected by you know, the best that money can buy. If we have learned anything from history, it is that there will be unexpected military crisis, and there will be a need for American manufacturers to quickly respond to warfighter demands. To meet those demands, the Joint Systems Manufacturing Center has developed a proven, skilled, quality workforce. With this solid core capability, the JSMC has always been able to answer the nation's call. Success comes not only from a strong Midwestern work ethic, but also having experienced workers in place to help train others for these unexpected production surges. In the words of a visiting U.S. Army sergeant, after two tours of duty in Iraq in the Abrams tank, due to the quality built into it by the workers of the JSMC, I was able to return home, uninjured, to my daughters and wife. No greater tribute can be given to a defense system and the people who build it protecting those who protect this nation. Keeping a core production base at JSMC ensures that when the next crisis occurs, the JSMC can and will respond quickly to the warfighters' needs and most importantly, help them return home safely to their families.